What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I want to talk to you about something today. I want to uh, had a few little pictures come up on the internet uh, by two major car companies. And it could be the downfall to a couple of lines that we uh, have come to love. Um, so a few months back, I posted this picture right here of a four door I'm assuming a concept Mustang. And I said, congratulations Ford, you have officially killed off the last car that you are producing because all of us know that Ford is no longer going to produce uh, cars, only small utility vehicles and trucks, okay? Um, so that's that, all right? And a four-door Mustang with the mystique that it has I mean, who would want a four-door Mustang, right? So this past week, or week before last, can't remember, I seen this picture of a four-door Camaro. Once again, I'm assuming it's a concept. But it makes you think, is this truly a concept? Or is this something that Ford and GM are actually thinking about doing? And if they do this, could it kill off two names that we have uh, come to know and love for years. And to get into that, we have to look a little bit more in depth of the history of the Mustang and the Camaro and decide whether a four-door version would be either good or bad. Okay, first, let's take the Mustang. Mustang released in 1964. It was never intended to be a muscle car because the muscle car era hadn't really even really began that much yet. So from 1964, um, really up into the late 60s, early 70s, Mustang was a just small compact car. It really didn't grow into the Mustang icon or Mustang muscle car icon that it is now until the early 70s. Then we can talk about the late 70s. The late 70s is probably some of the worst Mustangs that was ever built. Uh, and it wasn't in, until the LX platform was uh, reintroduced, not the LX platform, excuse me, the Fox body platform was reintroduced that it really starting to take off again into the 80s and the 90s. And now we have our, what well, we have our most iconic ones today, um, boasting all these crazy amount of horsepower. But never along the line were there any four doors. Um, and then, you know, you take in contrast, you know, a lot of the muscle cars during that time they always offered a four-door or a two-door version. The Impalas, you know, the Bel Airs, you know, several Ford uh, makers, I mean, models and everything, you know, offered a four-door version. So, but the Mustang never was. So the Mustang always stayed a two-door coupe. And, you know, it becoming the muscle car icon that it is now. So then you take the Camaro. The Camaro was released solely to combat the Mustang. Now the the Camaro, in my opinion, has done has fared better than the Mustang over the years because it's never had really a, a bad platform. Um, you take from the first gen to second gen, uh, the third gen in the '80s and the fourth gen in the '90s. Even though those the third gen in the '80s, a lot of people hated, they're now coming around to be very collectible cars, and are still a decent platform to build a great muscle car off of. Um, and then they release re-release the fifth gen. Uh, in, the, in the 2000s and then now the 6th gen so the Camaro has always stayed a very sporty coupe um, so it, it, both of them stay in coupes neither one of them being offered four door but could a four door work in these platforms let's take somebody like Dodge Dodge with his Charger 2007, I believe it was, 2007, they reintroduced the Charger as a four-door sedan. Some people loved it, some people hated it. The purist, they hated it because the Charger had always been a two-door, you know, big-body muscle car. It was never a coupe. It was a big-body, two-door muscle car, and people absolutely hated it. Now, for the newer generation, like me, we never knew that, so... Putting a powerful motor into a sedan where we could put our children in the back 
have decent gas mileage, stroll them around town, take them to all their games and whatnot, and then go out and still be able to have fun with it. Um, you know, even it might be lacking power to today's standards, but the 5.7 had plenty of power back then. So Dodge was able to do it with an iconic muscle car, take a two-door version, turn it into a four-door version, and now you look at the Hellcats and the Red Eyes and, and all those four-door cars there, they're, they're doing nines at the track from the factory. From the factory, they're doing nines. Could Ford and Chevrolet do the same to the Mustang and the Camaro? And would it work? It's about a 50-50 chance. And to me, it's about a 50-50, I like it, I hate it type thing. You take, especially from the South where I am, Mustangs or Mustangs. Mustangs are meant for one thing, take to the drag strip. Camaros, meant for one thing, take to the drag strip. They were never meant to haul your family around and then go to the drag strip. But Dodge did it. Maybe they're starting to copy. Maybe it's GM and Ford or they're seeing something. They're saying, hey, Dodge has all this success with the Hellcats and now the Red Eyes making this insane amount of horsepower. And then we can do it with ours and base it off our platform. Now, granted, a little bit of things will have to be tweaked because if you've ever seen my video on the uh, 18 SS Camaro that I did, and if you didn't, you need to go back Go back in the catalog and find it and watch it. You'll notice that very little room in, on the inside, very little room on the inside. So that car from its current platform is gonna to have to be transformed into a sedan type platform with basically a Camaro front fascia. Same thing for the Mustang. Uh, if you go back, I got friends that have Mustangs and we rode in them and again, it's a sports car. So if you're gonna make it a four door, you're gonna to have to basically take something, you know, like like, your, like a sedan that you have and put a front fascia on it. But you're also gonna to have to put the power in it. Put the Coyote motor, um, put the new uh, GM uh, supercharged motor in it and make it, try to make it like the Charger. And I mean, I hate, I hate to keep saying the Charger, but Dodge did it, Dodge perfected it. Dodge took an iconic muscle car era car two-door, and in the 2000s reintroduced it as a sedan and has worked. They done it. So let me know. Everyone put in the comments, do you think that the Mustang and the Camaro could go four-door and be successful? Or do you think if they went four-door and it kill them, would it kill off the Mustang and the Camaro name? Now, granted, I don't think GM or Ford are ever gonna do this. I just think it's artists rendering or a concept or you know the internet being the internet type thing but let me know would you or would you not want to see a four-door version of a camaro or a mustang and would you buy it if it was reasonably priced not some crazy crazy number would you buy it would you buy a four-door mustang or camaro to haul your family in and then be able to go to the drag strip and have fun with it? let me know all right, guys, I appreciate you sticking around all the way to the end of the video. If you hadn't uh, hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on. Give this video a good thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!